Reporting in progress. So a little background on tea meditation ceremony. If we were in a tea meditation only situation, meditation would begin when you walk in the door and when you have your seat and you just bring yourself to the present moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, since we're a little different today, what I would ask you to do is that if you have a cup of some sort with a beverage of some sort, that you hold it in front of you in your two hands, if you are able. Mm -hmm. And if you do not have a cup, or your cup is empty, or nearly empty, to please just raise your hand and let me know. We have folks who can serve. Okay, we have one here. And our process for serving and for receiving is that the server approaches, and when they're in front of you or next to you, you make a little bow. You can hold your cup, you make a little bow, and they bow back a little bit and uh, mindfully pour, oh, maybe half a cup, maybe less. So we're already meditating, as it were, as we have our cup in front of us. And I see the servers very appropriately bowing to each other in the back as they offer to each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are so lucky today that we had children to show us the way. Right? Uh, so uh, we'll begin our ceremony uh, with a song. There may be one or two. It's a, it's a gata, a practice poem. Uh, there may be one or two who know this, this uh, verse. And if you like, you can sing along. Otherwise, we just listen. Listening is at least as important as the speaking. So holding the, the cup, and I'll say tea, even if it's juice or coffee, I'm going to say tea. Okay. This cup of tea in my two hands is mindfulness held perfectly. My mind and body dwell in the very here and now. This cup of tea in my two hands is mindfulness held perfectly. My mind and body dwell in the very here and now. This cup of tea in my two hands is mindfulness held perfectly. My mind and body dwell in the very here and now. We sip together. Let us begin by feeling our body. What is the placement in space? Are we seated in a chair? Do we feel it beneath us? How is our spine? Are we upright? Are we not? However we are is fine. Just noticing. Hmm. What does the cup feel like in the hands? What is the texture, the temperature? What is our response when the cup comes to our lips? Is the feel of the cup pleasant, unpleasant, neutral? What 
what is our response to the tea or the coffee or the juice running across our tongue, moving to the back of the throat, rolling down the throat? Are those sensations pleasant, unpleasant, neutral? Just noticing. Do we notice the temperature? Perhaps we notice the temperature has changed from the time it was first poured to this moment. What are our responses to how it is now? Do we have preferences, judgments? Oh, I liked it better hot. Just notice. Notice how humans are with our environment. We can move to contemplating the, the tea, the coffee, the juice itself. What is there? What is there? We know that a plant of some kind has grown to give us this beverage. We know that there are many causes and conditions that allow that plant to be alive and to offer up its leaves or beans or fruit. Sunshine, rain, ah, rain comes from the cloud. Ah, where does the cloud come from? The ocean, maybe? Hmm. The soil, all the many, many things in the soil. How many plants and animals have died to produce a rich soil that can nurture a growing plant? Oh, that's a lot of lives already in my cup. Mm. There's a great deal of work, many hands in this cup. Whatever plant produced this beverage, it was very likely planted by human hands or human machinery, cultivated, tended. If it's tea, harvested by human hands, very likely women or girls. and more human hands to dry, to process, or to press if it's a juice, and process. If it's tea or coffee, it very likely came to us on a ship made of iron that was mined out of the earth by many human hands. That's a lot, of, a lot of hands, a lot of lives in your cup. In America, there are truck drivers and warehouse workers. People like my grandson who stock the shelves cashiers. There's a long chain of human hands, human lives in the cup. The cup itself, rather important, challenging to drink tea or coffee without a vessel. Mm. No doubt the cup in our hands is made from the earth and human hands. 
this very cup made by one of the folks in this room. To practice tea meditation is to be mindful, to remember all that is there. Has it changed further? Is it gone? Empty? Hmm. What is here now? What is the response now? I look back at the sun. The sun is in this cup. The sun is a part of a galaxy, of a universe, of a cosmos. Mm. My teacher says the whole cosmos is in this cup in this beverage. We are utterly and completely interdependent with everything. This is a way we can practice coming into touch with that oneness. Let's just contemplate for a moment or just be with our tea. I would like to complete our tea meditation by singing again the tea gata. This cup of tea in my two hands is mindfulness held perfectly. My mind and body dwell in the very here and now. This cup of tea in my two hands is mindfulness held perfectly. My mind and body dwell in the very here and now. Thank you for meditating with me. Mm-hmm.